Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts, for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And on this Saturday afternoon, the 6 2 and 1 Hillers welcome in the 2 3 and 1 Norwood Mustangs. Norwood is the newest addition to the TVL. He just started in the Tri Valley League this past fall season and this is their first hockey season in the TVL and so far they have held up nicely going two three and one or what a great hockey school so this should be a good battle here today between the Hillers and the Mustangs Hopkinton is just off of a five to two win at Medway's home ice at Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin and Norwood is just off of a five to one win against Bellingham. And right now we will set it down to ice level for the introductions and the national anthem. That's if there will be one.
there you have it. We are ready for hockey here at the New England Sports Center between the 6-2 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers and the 2-3 and 1 Norwood Mustangs. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for this Saturday afternoon matchup. John Ritz is our cameraman for today. And we should have a good TVL matchup on our hands this evening. Norwood on a two-game winning streak. In their last two, they defeated Holliston and Bellingham. And the Hillers, they have won five out of their last six. In that last six, that includes a tie against a very good Westwood team back on the fifth, three to three in that game. And of course, in their last game, the Hillers took down Medway five to two. And we'll get you the starting lineups just in case you missed it in just a moment. But first, Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh in the center circle. No relation as the Hillers start off with possession, working left to right across your screen. And there's Walsh with a wrister and a glove save by Reardon. Let's take a look at Norwood's starting lineup. The defenseman is number eight, Aiden Reardon. Number 21, Jack Lydon. The center is number nine, Brandon Walsh. Right wing, number 17, Joe Spadorcia. And the left wing, number 23, Chris Martin. And in the net is Reardon as that shot is just wide to the right by Walsh. And the Backhanded pass by Simos. Over to the corner it goes to Hamblet. Now Walsh with possession. Finds Jarrett at the top of the circle. And Jarrett was trying to get it over to Simos who has slipped up a little bit. And here comes Norwood. Let's take a look at the Hillers starters. On defense, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Number nine, Cam Jarrett. The center is number 11, Sean Walsh. Left wing, number 15, Steve Simos. Right wing, number 19, Tommy Hamblett. And in net is the freshman, Dylan Brand, who has just played terrific for the Hillers. He's done a wonderful job in the net so far this season. Over to the corner we go. Up behind the net for Norwood. That was Chris Martin. As the Mustangs trying to establish some momentum. And we'll get the icing here. We'll have another face-off in the Norwood zone. This time on the face-off for the Hillers, Kyle Rogers. Second line in there right now for Hopkinton. Tracked down behind the net by Matt Hennessy for Norwood. Hennessy with the pass up the near side to Marchant. Here comes Marchant. Marchant meets up with Jarrett along the boards and then a hit by Aiden Walsh. Jammed up along the corner. And there's a pass by Martin. And now with possession, it's Jake Russo. Russo trying to skate around a couple of hillers. And he'll get tripped up in the circle. And now it's taken away by Rogers. Up the near side he comes. And he's intercepted by Hennessy. Hennessy to the far side to Mateer. Up around the hillers net it goes. And it was tracked down by Luke Glyden. Pass up by Saporoschitz. Now we'll get all the way to the Norwood net and be turned away by Reardon. Jammed up along the corner is Hamblet. Trying to dig it out of there. Hamblet up against Russo. And now here comes Norwood with possession. Spadorcia. Just wide to the left side of the net. And it's taken by Cahill. Cahill with the pass over to Spadorcia. Spadorcia jammed up in the corner with Saporoschitz. There's a shot diverted by Glyden. And here comes Sean Walsh. Up the far side he goes, leaves it behind him. And there's a shot turned away. Nice shot by Simos. Reardon turns it away. And that's poked out by Gilbert. Gilbert with the pass to the near side, but no one there. Now with possession, Cahill. Over the far side boards it goes. Well, Norwood, they have been battle tested and to take down Holliston and Bellingham, pretty impressive stuff, making a statement in the TVL. And that was after they started the season 0-3. They lost to Linfield, Westwood, and Ashland to start off the year, but really seem to be improving in their last few games. Gilbert jammed up in the corner, now to the near side. There's a pass up the boards by Sheamus. Now trying to get possession is Kirk. Weinstock taking a hit there. 
Kirk along the boards, up against Martin. Passes it over to Morse. Here comes Norwood. No one there on the near side, however. Intercepted by Jarrett. Jarrett with some good stick work. Into the circle he goes. He's turned away by Leiden. Up behind the net now is Martin. And he'll go around the net once again. Over to the near side, Leiden with the pass. Here comes Brandon Walsh for Norwood. Around the boards it goes. Trying to pick it up on the far side of Spadorcia. Well, Norwood establishing a little possession time here. Brand gets the stick on it for Jarrett. Jarrett to the near side. And now here comes the Hillers on the attack. Rogers. And that one turned away. Picked up by Hennessy. Along the corner, that's Tolman. And pass up the ice from the defensive zone by Hennessy. And that'll get the icing. 10.46 left to go in the first period. Right now, I think both these teams just kind of feeling each other out. We'll have another face-off in the Norwood zone. On the face-off, it's Sean Walsh up against Jake Russo. Saparoshitz along the near side. Taken in the corner by Hennessy. Now along the far side for the Hillers, it's Hamlet. And Weinstock got the skate on it there. Saparoshitz back ice. And that attack by Hayes diverted by Saparoshitz and Walsh. And now we'll get an icing on the other end. We'll have a face off in the Hillers zone as they'll switch things up a little bit. Coming back into the game, Luke Glyden as well as Ron Sheamus to take over on defense. Sean Walsh up against Jake Russo on the faceoff. Dug out of the corner by Sheamus. And now coming up the far side, Simos, and he's able to find Hamlet. Here comes Hamlet. That's turned away by Leiden. Leiden with the hit up the ice. That one off of Sheamus. Pass over to Simos. Here comes Simos up the far side boards. Find Sean Walsh behind him. Walsh trying to dig it into the slot, looking for Hamlet there. Over to the near side corner it goes. Tracked down by Aiden Reardon. Reardon meets up with Simos. Dug out by Walsh. And there to intercept is Leiden for Norwood. Pass up the ice by Glyden. Around the net it goes as the Hillers change lines once again. Here comes Norwood trying to attack quickly and catch the Hillers in transition. Over to the near side of Weinstock. And there's a slow roller by Hennessy. Along the boards is Cahill. And a pass forward by Sheamus. Here comes Hopkinton. Weinstock able to get the stick on it. It's tracked down by Martin. Dan Kirk trying to leave it in the slot as turning it around there is Tyler Morris. Here comes Norwood. Racing up the ice is Cahill and he's turned away by Quinlan. And there's a shot turned away by Brand. That was off the stick of Matt Hennessy. Jammed up along the far side corner. Kirk trying to get it out of there. Now Sheamus gets involved. And here comes Kirk. Kirk pass up the near side, intercepted there by Hennessy. And now the pass up by Berman. Here comes Hopkinton racing into the Norwood zone. That's Kyle Rogers. And now he's jammed up along the far side boards along with Aiden Walsh. 8-14 and counting left to go in this first period. It's been a good defensive struggle for these two teams so far. Good defensive battle we got going on here as this will draw an offsides. Three shots on net for the Hillers, one for Norwood. We'll have a face off at center ice. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh. Over to the near side, Hamblick. Pass intercepted by Tolman briefly, but now taken by Sean Walsh around the net, and he 
Nearly had a goal there, but a nice block by Reardon. He was able to get the leg pad down. Simos jammed up along the corner. Stolen away by Walsh. Saperosic trying to get involved, and now here comes Norwood coming up the near side, Spadorcia. And he is diverted by Gilbert. And he lost his stick. Along the far side, Simos. And now here comes Hamblet. First line back in there for the Hillers. Hamblet leaves it for Walsh, but Walsh could not reach it. Hamblet up behind the net. Now the pass over to Walsh. Walsh trying to leave it out in front. Around the net he goes. And you always have to be cautious of the stick of Sean Walsh if you're the opposing team. He has quite the shot. Along the far side, Spadorcia. Now along the near side, that's Reardon. And the pass up. And that'll draw a whistle. Icing, and we'll have a face-off in the Norwood zone. Kyle Rogers up against Mike Cahill. And that was Jake Russo, rather, for Norwood. Racing up the near side, that's Marchant. He's turned away by Quinlan. And now trying to dig it out of the boards is Sheamus. Sheamus and Marchant in the area. Now, here comes Martin. Over to the far side it goes. Tracked down by Glyden. Norwood trying to establish a shot here. That one just wide to the left by Leiden. Pass up the near side boards. Now it's off the stick of Martin. It's wide to the left. Aiden Walsh behind the net. And now here comes Glyden. Glyden was trying to pass it forward, but no one there gets it over to Sheamus. It looks like the Hiller's going to try to work the Right side of that Norwood defensive zone. Checking the boards by Sheamus. Pass up by Rogers. Hiller is in transition as they switch lines. Here comes Norwood. Pass up by Hayes. And it's taken by Jarrett. Over the far side, he goes to Morse. Well, one thing I've noticed about the Hillers in the last few games, they seem to be Kind of a slower starting team. In the first period against Medway, there was no goals. And then they exploded for three goals in the second period of that game. Perhaps we'll see that here. But Norwood trying to put one in as that was Matt Hennessy with a good shot from the left circle. So they've kept Dylan Brand pretty busy in this first period. Along the far side, Dan Kirk gets the stick in there. And steals it away. Good steal there by Kirk. Now racing up the near side, there's Weinstock putting it wide to the right. And he did that because the Hiller's switching up a couple. They're getting Simos and Walsh back out there. Along the far side, Berman. Pass up over to Hamlet, and we're going to have a whistle here. Offsides was the call. 4.48 left to go in the first period. We are scoreless so far between the Hiller's and their new TVL rival, Norwood. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh. Norwood led by head coach Chuck Allen. Hillers, of course, led by head coach Chris McPherson. Along the near side, that's Martin, and we'll get a whistle. Offsides once again. Of a face off on the near side of the neutral zone. Hamlet with a good box out there. Here comes Walsh. And he flips that one up towards Simos along the far side. Weinstock with the hit up. And it's taken by Spadorcia. Pass over to the near side. Here comes Hamlet. Hamlet looking for a shot here into the right circle. Leaves it in the slot. And there's a goal. What a beauty of a pass by Hamlet. And he was able to find Simos, who puts it in and makes it one to nothing with 4.22 left. 
And I'm about 90% sure that was Simos. We'll have to confirm that. You can't blink during these games. Along the far side, it's Aiden Walsh. Pass up over to Reardon. Leaves it behind the net for Leiden. Back to Reardon. He'll flip it up. That was just a great feed by Hamblet. He saw the open man in the slot and took advantage of it. And that was just a very well executed goal by the Hillers. Saparosha, it's over to Quinlan. A little body contact there on Rogers by Hayes, the box about. Gilbert tracks it down behind the net. Turned away by Saparoshitz. Well, the Hillers have certainly done a nice job not giving Norwood any open opportunities. Quinlan along the near side. That's intercepted by Hennessy. Here comes Norwood. And that is turned away by Walsh, Aiden Walsh. Just recently hopped back into the game. 3.09 left to go. The Hillers leading one to nothing. Tracked down by Glyden. Glyden over to Simos. Now the pass to the near side to Hamblet. And it was indeed Steve Simos with the beauty of a goal off the great feed from Hamblet. Simos just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. And he had two very nice goals against Medway. Hamblet with the pass over to Walsh, and that one's turned away. Austin Reardon has been very busy in these last few minutes for Norwood. And we'll get a whistle. We'll have a face-off in the Norwood zone. Offsides was the call. Or no, excuse me, we actually have a Norwood penalty. So the Hillers are going to be on the power play for the next two minutes. Chris Martin in the box. So the Hillers have the man advantage and a big opportunity here. And that one is turned away off the stick of Gilbert. Good save by Reardon. And then he lost it for a bit, but luckily he had some uh, fellow Mustangs there to get that one out of the danger zone. Cam Jarrett, and that one's turned away by Reardon. Gilbert with the pass over to Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot here, and that's turned away by a defenseman. Hiller's being aggressive on the power play, trying to break open this game early on. Less than two minutes left to go in the first period. Jammed up along the Hiller's end. And that's a smart move by Brandon Walsh. Just jam that puck and burn the time off the power play. Here comes Walsh up the far side. Racing in. And he's turned away by Reardon. Along the near side, Sean Walsh. And it's back to Jarrett. And now along the far side, that's Gilbert. Gilbert puts it towards Simos. Simos now to Hamblet. Hamblet finds Jarrett along the blue line. Hamblet pops that one up, turned away by Reardon. Walsh with the pass behind the net. And that's dug out by Simos. Here comes Hamblet. Now on top over to Gilbert. Now to Jarrett. Jarrett was trying to find Walsh in the slot. Gilbert knocks it around the boards. Less than a minute left to go in the period. 24 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Walsh over to Jarrett, and that one is gonna get through for a goal! It went off the stick of Jarrett, and the question is, did Simos get a little touch on it before it went in? I think it was just clean off the stick of Jarrett, but in any case, it is two to nothing Hillers. That was right through the five hole. Well, that's how you do it on the power play. Established possession. Take control and pop it right through the five hole. 49.8 seconds left to go in the period. And there is a Hiller in the penalty box, so Tommy Hamblett is going to be penalized for the Hillers. So now Norwood will have the man advantage. We'll see how they are able to perform with the extra man. 
Dan Kirk up against Jake Russo. The Norwood power play, unless they score, of course, in the remainder of this first period, will extend into the second period. Up the near side, Matt Hennessy. So they did credit Steve Simos with that last goal. So he did get the stick on it after it came off the stick of Jared as that one's turned away. So Steve Simos, two goals today, racking up those points. Cam Jarrett credited with the assist along with Sean Walsh. Pass up by Luke Glyden, and around the boards it goes. Four seconds left to go in the period. And that is going to do it. A great first period for the Hillers, who lead it two to nothing as we head into the second. Norwood will have the man advantage for at least another minute and 11 seconds to begin this second period. But it was two goals by Steve Simos to put the Hillers on top, two to nothing at the break. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen driver surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. We are ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norwood Mustangs. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Steve Simos netted both goals. The first goal came with 4.22 left in the first period. And the second goal came with 49.8 seconds left. Second goal uh, was a great shot by Jarrett, and then Simos just tipped it in. And Walsh also got a piece of it on the path to the net. Norwood is on the power play still for the next minute or so. So they will have the man advantage to start this second period as we are underway here in the second frame. Along the near side, there's Gilbert, and he ended up putting that off of Reardon. That was a good shot by Gilbert. Keeps it in play, and. Takes a shot on net. Along the near side, Walsh picks it up. 39 seconds left on the power play, and the Hillers doing a nice job at burning it off so far. Reardon flips that over to Brandon Walsh. Here comes Brandon Walsh. Or actually, that's uh, Reardon, rather. Aiden Reardon along the far side. Over to Marchant. Sometimes when they have the jerseys tucked in, it doesn't make the life of a broadcaster very easy. And there's a shot from the left circle, and that's in! A goal for Norwood, a great shot by Mike Cahill. There's eight seconds left on the power play, and it's a two to one game. So Mike Cahill with the initial shot, and the question there is, did David Hayes get a piece before it went in? Did Hayes tip it in? It was pretty similar to the Steve Simo's goal that we saw towards the end of the first period. So that comes with 13.57 remaining in the second to make it a two to one game. Well, that certainly gives uh, Norwood a little momentum. Pass up the near side. Glyden will track it down. Bangs it off the boards. And here comes the Hillers on the attack. I was trying to hear the confirmation of the goal, but the PA was a little muffled. Luke Glyden tracks it down. Along the near side, flips it off the boards, finds Rogers. Now jumping in there with Spinorcia trying to steal it away. Here comes the Hillers. Flip up the ice by Aiden Walsh. Out in front of the net, picked up by Leiden. Along the far side now. There's a pass up by Marchant. And we'll get a whistle as Gilbert tracks it down along the near side. 
A two to one lead for the Hillers. Norwood, they desperately needed a goal on that power play and they were able to get one. Big momentum for Norwood. Well, the face off in the Norwood zone. And the face off for the Hillers was Dan Kirk. Stolen away by Saperoshitz. There's Kirk leaving it behind, and he was trying to find Tyler Morris. Racing up the far side, that's David Hayes. And he'll flip it up to the left of the net. Saperoshitz with the pass, looking for Weinstock. Tracking it down behind the net, Marchant. Getting a stick on Russo. now it's stolen away by Kirk. And Kirk delivers a nice shot, and the uh, Mustang thought he had a good shot on Kirk, but Kirk said, no, you don't. Along the near side, there's Gilbert. Flips it off the glass. And that was Martin getting a stick on it there, and we'll get a whistle. Icing called, face off in the Norwood zone. 12.01 left to go in the second period. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for Hillers Hockey. John Ritz, our cameraman. Sean Walsh on the faceoff for Hopkinton. Around the end boards it goes. Walsh tracks it down. And he was looking for someone in the slot there, but Spadorcia ends up getting possession for Norwood. Flips it forward. Now it's a race between Jarrett and Spadorcia. Jarrett is going to take a hit into the boards there, but Spadorcia gets tripped up, and the Hillers have it right back. Here comes Hamlet. And Hamlet was trying to get it forward to Walsh, taken away by Leiden. And now it's intercepted by Jarrett. Jarrett with the pass up towards Hamlet. Now Walsh racing around. Walsh leaves it behind for Hamlet. Hamlet back to Walsh, poking it was Brandon Walsh for Norwood. He briefly had possession. Over the far side, Simos with the chop over to Jarrett, and that shot just wide to the right. In the slot, and Hamlet was trying to just poke it in the net there. It was turned away by the defenseman, Miles Kidd. Into the right circle, there's Jarrett, and he was looking for Walsh in the slot. Along the near side, that's Michael Berman. Behind the net now, it's Walsh up against Aiden Reardon. Aiden Reardon, one of the key players on Norwood. Stolen away by Simos. Simos gets that one forward and it's tracked down by Brandon Walsh. Hamlet getting a stick on it. And the knock up the ice there will draw the icing. 10.27 left to go in the second period. And since we have been at even strength, the Hillers have certainly won the possession battle. And they currently lead two to one, looking to add on. But Norwood might have something to say about that as they race up the ice. And we're gonna get a whistle off sides. Well, that coach Chuck Allen telling his team to wake up. They had an opportunity at a breakaway, but got to stay on sides. Up behind the Hillers net, that one put off the side. That was uh, Matt Hennessy getting the shot off. Here's Luke Glyden for the Hillers. Glyden with the pass over to Sheamus. And now racing up the ice, here comes Rogers. And Rogers is gonna be tripped up. And that is going to be a Norwood penalty. And they're gonna get uh, Chris Martin with tripping. That's the second time he's been in the box. Of a face off in Norwood territory. Hillers with the man advantage for the next two minutes. They scored on the last power play opportunity. Can they do it again? And there's a shot off the side of the net by Hamlet. Chase down along the near side. There's Walsh. 
That one gets through Walsh. Now Andrew Gilbert gets the stick on it. And it's taken back by Norwood as Leiden was there. Cam Jarrett with possession. And he sets up Walsh. Walsh racing up the far side. Look out. Here he comes. Leaving it for Simos. No one's there. Gilbert tracks it down. And now Gilbert being contested by Russo. Russo showing off some good speed there. Flips it off the side of the net, trying to jam it in. And that is going to be a cross check, I think. And no penalty. So the official not going to call the uh, cross check, but both players are kind of going at it. But the Hillers, uh, they might have got away with one there. Top of the circle, Aiden Reardon. Tracked down by Sean Walsh. Walsh racing up the far side, here he comes. Around a number of Mustangs, trying to leave it in front for Hamlet. Gets it back over to Gilbert. Walsh, pass over to Hamlet. He'll flip it back to Gilbert. There's Walsh on the side, and he was trying to find Hamlet in the slot. Ends up back into the Hiller's zone. Brand got the stick on it. And we'll flip it to the near side towards Gilbert. And now Cam Jarrett will race down. 52 seconds and counting left on the power play. And we're going to get a whistle here. Offsides. Or icing, rather. 28 seconds left on the power play. So far, so good for Norwood. Hopkinton with one last opportunity to try to take advantage of the power play opportunity. Flipped up by Rogers to the right of the net it goes. Now it's out in front in the danger zone. And Quinlan was trying to flip it in, but getting in his way was the defenseman. Quickly in his way was Leiden. And boy, is Norwood lucky that Leiden was in the right place at the right time. That would have been a wide open shot. Seamus with the pass over to Saparoshitz, who's tripped up. And now racing along the near side, here's Brandon Walsh looking for the shot. Leaves it out in front, and it is denied by Brand. What a save. And there's another shot, top of the circle, and that one's in. Tie game. Chris Martin with the initial shot. Brandon Walsh knocks it in, and it's two to two. We have ourselves a hockey match here. That goal comes with 7.35 left in the second period. And just like that, we're all knotted up. Well, after that power play, Brandon Walsh came racing up the near side. Created a great shot opportunity that was turned away by Brand. And that was a tremendous save. But then, puck remained in the danger zone. Hillers couldn't clear it. And Norwood was able to get a couple more shots off and take advantage of the opportunity. Kirk along the far side, matched up with Marchant. And now here comes Norwood again. There's our wrestler, and that's in! Wow! Jake Russo with a beauty of a shot. It's three to two, Norwood. That certainly was not expected. Well, Norwood's starting to uh, outskate the Hillers here in this second period. And you better believe, I'm sure there's going to be uh, some transitions made by Hopkinton. They got the first line back out there. Here comes Walsh and Simos. There's Gilbert, puts that one on the ground, and it's turned away by Reardon. Well, three goals by Norwood in the second period as that puck is knocked out of play into the stands. It's kind of like what we saw the Hillers do this past Wednesday against Medway. Three second period goals. Except this time, obviously, it's not really in the Hillers' direction. 
Walsh up against Russo. Well, this Norwood team, they came to play today. I think they're showing that in this period. There's Simos, and that one is going to be covered up by Reardon. Clock stopped at 6.55. Well, Norwood scored two goals within 17 seconds of each other. Along the far side now. Well, they got some good speed skaters on this Norwood team. A lot of speed coming up the ice. Racing into the corner, there's Russo. There's Marchant. Back to the blue line, there's Leiden. That's turned away. Another good shot there by Norwood, though. Top of the circle, Leiden. He meets up with Simos. And then a hard hit delivered by Gilbert. Cam Jarrett trying to poke it out. Behind the net, that's Marchant. And now, out to the left circle. Skating in, that one is turned away by Brand. Off the stick of Russo. And we'll get a, get a whistle here. And another face-off in the Hiller zone. Hiller's bench trying to pump up the guys on the ice. They certainly need, uh, I think, an energy boost here to get back into this game. Along the far side, that's Sheamus. Intercepted by Martin. Pass misses Spadorsi along the near side, and that'll draw the icing call. 5.43 left to go in the second period. A 3-2 lead for Norwood. Three second period goals. Well, the Hillers were excellent defensively in the first period, but in the second period, Norwood has Outskated Hopkinton. Sean Walsh up against Hunter Ford. Into the corner is Reardon. Pass to the far side of Tolman. That's taken away by Simos looking for a shot. And that one is just wide to the left off the stick of Hamlet who's trying to poke it through. Out in front, Walsh, Simos. There's Walsh, and that's in! We are tied back up, three to three. Sean Walsh with a beauty. Comes with 5.24 left. And another point for Simos as he was on the assist. Two goals today for Simos and an assist. He's having another tremendous day. And Sean Walsh also with two points to his credit. He had an assist in the first period and now has another goal. Quite a hockey game we got here on this Saturday afternoon. Jammed up along the far side boards. And there's a shot there, turned away by Brand off the stick of Marchin. Tommy Hamlet also credited with the assist on that last goal. And that one turned away. Brand has been very busy in the second period, to say the least. And Saporoshitz meets up with two Mustangs along the far side boards, but he's the only one left standing. Here comes Weinstock. Weinstock speeding up the ice. We'll flip that one forward, turned away by Reardon. Along the near side, that's Jeff Toko, who just recently hopped into the game. Jake Weinstock behind the net. A 3-3 three three game here in the second period. 4.30 and counting left to go. Along the far side boards, it's Dan Kirk. Kirk looking for Toko now. Quinlan trying to shoot it. And it was turned away by the defenseman. He missed on the first opportunity and then tried to backhand it in, but Leiden was there. Well, this has been quite the entertaining period, I must say. Back ice, that's Jarrett. Flips it off the boards of Quinlan. And now over to Rogers. Rogers turns it around, looking for a shot. The wrister, and it's turned away. That one must have went right off of Reardon's chest pad. We'll get a whistle along the far side. And do we have a penalty here?
It looks like, uh, well, Norwood had too many men on the ice. So there will be a penalty. They had six skaters out there for a little while. Spadorcia heads to the box. Hillers with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Brand has to turn that one away as that was going right for the five hole. There's a shot and that's denied by Jarrett off the stick of Brandon Walsh. Here comes Sean Walsh and offsides. Actually, I think we might have a penalty as well. We do, so we'll be at uh, even strength. Tommy Hamblett will head to the box for the, I believe it was hooking. Four on four. And Norwood will have a man advantage for 10 seconds. Well, that's not what you want to do on the power play if you're the Hillers. End up at even strength. Although the Hillers, for the most part, have outmatched Norwood at even strength. So we'll see what they do here. Here's Jarrett looking for a shot. And that one is nearly in. That was a beauty of a shot by Jarrett looking for the right side of that net. Walsh puts it behind the net, picked up by Martin. Jammed up along the far side corner. Walsh trying to poke it out. Here comes Aiden Reardon. Over to the near side, racing up is Russo. And Russo can't get by Jarrett. Norwood looking for a penalty as that shot is turned away by Brand. That was off the stick of Aiden Reardon. Jarrett jammed up along the boards. Flips it over to Sean Walsh. Here comes Sean. Looking for a shot, and it's turned away. Austin Reardon continues to be very busy in that as Quinlan is gonna get denied. Jumping in front of that, shot was Leiden. Two twenty-seven left to go in the second period. A three to three game here at New England Sports Center. Kyle Rogers on the faceoff for the Hillers, up against Hunter, up against uh, Brandon Walsh there. Along the far side, here comes Matt Hennessy. Pass over to David Hayes. Hayes going to get denied by Saparoshitz. Is that shot a little bit high from Hennessy? Pass up towards Rogers, intercepted by Hayes. Here comes Rogers. Rogers looking for a shot here, and a couple defensemen get in his way. Back to the blue line, top of the circle, and that one is going to be wrapped up by Reardon. And that was off the stick of Sheamus. Well, Norwood has the man advantage for the next 20 seconds. 154 left to go in the second period. Dan Kirk up against Brandon Walsh on the faceoff. Here comes Norwood. Racing up the near side, that's Joe Spinorcia up against Gilbert. And a nice turn away by Weinstock. And that should burn off the rest of the power play. And the power play has officially expired. That one just through the reach of Martin, and that'll draw the whistle for icing. One thirty left to go in this action-packed second period. Three goals by Norwood in the period. The Hillers did respond with a goal of their own to tie this game back up. Been back and forth momentum. Behind the net, Aiden Reardon. Matched up with Dan Kirk. Puts it off the boards. No one there for Norwood. And back to the Mustangs defensive side we go. Sean Walsh up against Jake Russo. 
Jammed up in the circle, and now coming around the net, Samblet, pass over to Glyden. Glyden, top of the circle, will get the shot off. It's wide to the left. Simos delivering a hit on Marchant along the far side. Less than a minute left to go in the second period. Hamlet behind the net. And now Marchant with the pass over to Hayes. Hayes racing around, Glyden, and gets the shot wide to the right. Glyden to Hamlet. And getting there first is Marchant. Marchant trying to take it back to the Hillers defensive side as now Martin gets involved. 20 seconds left. Flipped up, pulled down by Hayes. Around the boards it goes. Chased down by Sheamus. Norwood switches up their line. Walsh delivers a nice hit. That one just in front of Simos. And that will do it for the second period. The Norwood Mustangs find some momentum in the second and put three goals in. At one point they had the three to two lead, but the Hillers tied it back up. Courtesy of Sean Walsh with 5.24 left to go in the second. It should be an action-packed final 15 minutes of regulation, so don't go anywhere. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the final 15 minutes of regulation as we enter the third period. It's a 3-3 game between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norwood Mustangs. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz, our cameraman for today's game. Well, it was an action-packed second period, to say the least. In the first period, the Hillers netted two goals. Tommy Hamblett netted one of them, and then Steve Simos netted the second goal. First goal came with 422 left, and then Simos scored with 49.8 seconds left. But then in the second period, it was all Norwood. Mike Cahill nets a goal on a power play. It was the power play that continued into the uh, second period, or actually the power play, uh, yeah, the power play was still going on at that point. It was eight seconds left when that goal was netted. And then it was Chris Martin and Jake Russo, but the Hillers did respond with a goal of their own by Sean Walsh to tie the game up at three apiece. In the center circle, it's Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh. I can't Im imagine the Hillers locker room was too fun between the periods. I'm sure Coach McPherson wasn't very happy with the Hillers' performance during that second period. Over to the far side it goes, tracked down by Gilbert. Well, you got two uh, good teams here that have a lot of speed, so it should be interesting to see how the rest of this game plays out. Pass over to Jack Lydon along the far side. Reardon places that one. Norwood trying to establish possession. Here comes Hamlet. Into the right circle he goes. There's a shot, and it's turned away. Walsh around the net. Walsh trying to feed Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz will poke that forward, and that puck was knocked up just in front of the net. And there's Saporoshitz again. And it's turned away, and there's Hamlet. That one's turned away by a defenseman who got the glove on it. There's Jack Lydon knocking it down. And now here comes Brandon Walsh racing into Hiller's territory. That one's turned away by Brand. The secondary shot turned away. It's out in front of the net, and it's poked out by Glyden. There's Spinorcia on the secondary shot there for Norwood. Back and forth we go here in this third period. A minute and a half into it. Tracked down by Rogers, looking for Quinlan, and now here comes Saporoshitz. Saparoshitz flips that one up. Hillers going to make a change. 
with their defenseman. On Seamus and Gilbert take over for the Hillers on defense. Icing was the call. 13.21 left to go. Sean Walsh up against Russo. There's a shot wide to the right off the stick of Martin. Rogers able to flip that one forward. Off the boards goes Aiden Walsh. Tracked down by Jake Russo. Ron Sheamus with the back pass, looking for Aiden Walsh. And there's Rogers flipping it forward. Now racing up is Aiden Walsh. David Hayes with the stick on it for Norwood. To the near side of Quinlan. Quinlan able to feed Rogers. Here comes Rogers closing in, and he's tripped up by Martin, and that'll draw a whistle. A little shooken up after that one. I believe that'll be a hooking penalty. So the Hillers with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh on the faceoff. Walsh knocks it back. There's a shot by Simos turned away. Hamblett with the pass up to Gilbert. And it's back to Hamblett. Over to the far side of Sean Walsh. Andrew Gilbert. Down to the near side of Jarrett. Jarrett. Gets it over to Simos. Simos will put it around the end boards looking for Hamlet. Nicely done by Hunter Ford to knock it out of there. That one turned away by Brand. Picked up by Jarrett. 123 left on the power play for the Hillers. Gilbert leaves it for Simos. Simos up the near side of Walsh. Here comes Walsh. Into the circle he goes. And he was looking to feed Simos in the slot. Gilbert puts it around the boards. Picked up by Simos. Simos trying to sneak it out of there. He's contested by Aiden Reardon. Pass by Walsh. Back to the point. And there's Walsh feeding the left side of Gilbert. And there's a shot turned away. The glove save by Austin Reardon. 50 seconds left on the power play for the Hillers. 11.26 left in regulation. No overtimes during the season, so if the score stays the same, both teams will be credited a tie and a point. Walsh trying to poke it out. Gilbert with the pass back to Walsh. Leaves it for Jarrett, there's a wrister turned away. Defenseman got in front of it. Gilbert looking to feed Walsh. Gilbert with possession. 25 seconds and counting left on the power play. Up the boards it goes. Tracked down by Brandon Walsh. Along the near side now. Andrew Gilbert trying to track it down for the Hillers up against Spadorcia. There's Sean Walsh. Walsh racing forward. Into the right circle, and he flips it over towards Hamlet. Hamlet with possession. The wrister turned away by Reardon. Jammed up behind the net. Pass up the near side to Marchant. Marchant meets up with Aiden Walsh. Hillers in transition, as well as Norwood. Pass over to the near side, Quinlan. Now Kyle Rogers along the boards. March it with the pass over to Miles Kidd. Or actually, that is uh, Jack Lydon, rather. Lydon meets up along the near side with Sheamus. 
Here comes Quinlan. Quinlan gets an elbow from Aiden Reardon. Here comes Norwood trying to establish an attack. David Hayes with possession, leaves it behind for Marchant. Kyle Rogers gets involved. Saparos shits up against Mateo along the boards. There's a wrister and that is knocked down by Sheamus. In the neutral zone, that's Matt Hennessy. Over to the far side, he goes to Brian Mateo. Norwood switches up their line once again. Back towards Hennessy. Now along the near side, Sheamus tracks it down. And that'll be icing. Clock stopped at, I believe it's 9.52. We have a couple lights missing, so. Sometimes the nine looks like an eight. And the eight looks like a nine. Around the net, Gilbert. Forward towards Kirk. Intercepted by Hennessy. Gilbert is looking for Weinstock. Weinstock flips that one forward. Icing once again. Well, the scoreboard says 22 shots on goal for the Ailers compared to 12 for Norwood. I think it's a little more than that, at least on the Norwood side, but Norwood has had some great shots. Dylan Brand has been tested here this evening. Wide to the right goes Spadorcia. Racing over, it's Hamlet. Hamlet with possession. Sean Walsh now up against Chris Martin. Back behind the net, Hamlet trying to get to it. Now along the near side, that is Simos. Hamlet with the handle on it, trying to flip it around. Just jammed behind that net and trying to swing around with Simos. That was turned away by Austin Reardon. And here comes Norwood. Spadorcia pass up the near side. Trying to leave it out in front for Brandon Walsh. Jammed up behind the Hillers net. Chris Martin trying to dig it out. Well, Norwood has been much better defensively than they were in the first period. And they have defended their zone very well. Here comes Tommy Hamblett. Flips it off the boards. Sean Walsh trying to get to it up against Brandon Walsh. Up the ice it goes. Now Jarrett with possession. Gets it over to Aiden Walsh. Now it's stolen away as stepping in was Russo. Racing up is Rogers. Rogers up against Leiden. Puts it to the near side. Will Quinlan in there trying to dig it out. Here comes Russo. Now Aiden Walsh with possession. He'll take a hit into the boards. He met up with David Hayes there. 6.41 and counting left to go in the third period. We remain tied at three. Along the near side, it's Anthony Marchant. Aiden Walsh gets it over to Rogers. Now the net he goes, and he's jammed up into the end boards. Flip off the glass there by Leiden. Knocked back to the Norwood zone by Jarrett as the Hillers change their line once again. Taparoshitz with the back pass, looking for Kirk. And now Tuco. Gets in there, and now here's Kirk with a shot, and that is just a little bit wide. Toko bangs it off the boards, and there's a shot by Sheamus. That was denied. A lot of Norwood traffic in front of their net, and they've defended uh, the slot well. Along the near side, poked out now by Spadorcia, who's trying to race down, and we're gonna have a whistle as he's tripped up. Do we have a Hiller's penalty, perhaps?
No penalty. That's always a good sign. 541 left to go as we face off after the offsides call. There's Ison. Well, I think it's only a matter of time before the Hillers put their first line in once again and try to get a last minute goal to come away with the win. Right now you got the third line out there and you let them uh, play for a little bit. But if this game remains tied, eventually you're gonna get that first line back in there and Sean Walsh is already back in the game. It's over to Glyden. Actually, they have some of those first liners out there now. All of them, rather. Well, Luke Glyden's still out there on the defensive side for the Hillers. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh. There's a shot wide to the left by Aiden Reardon. Nice hit delivered by Glyden. Out in front. That shot turned away. Well, Norwood was, had their opportunity there. Denied by the Hillers. Five minutes, Sand County left to go. Here comes Hamlet. Looking for Simon Starisser wide to the right. That was a good setup by Hamlet. But Simos couldn't finish. Face off in the neutral zone. Jarrett flips it over to the far side. Intercepted by Matt Hennessy. Now it's stolen away. Michael Berman gets in there. Cam Jarrett trying to track it down. Norwood with an opportunity here, the backhander, a turn away by Brand. On that shot attempt, that was Marchant, now it's stolen away, here comes Simos. Simos racing up the far side, and he's trying to get it over to Hamlet. Walsh with the shot, and it's turned away. Puck's still loose, and now it's covered up. Austin reared and able to somehow wrap up the puck. And Sean Walsh got a pretty good shot off. 421 remaining in the third period. And Sean Walsh, not happy he couldn't uh, get that one in. Hillers switch it up once again. Racing up the near side, here comes Marchant. Saparoshitz trying to track it down. Saparoshitz delivered a nice hit there. Saparoshitz with the pass forward just out of the reach of Rogers. Coming off the stick of Aiden Reardon. And here comes Quinlan, places it to the far side towards Rogers, and it's intercepted. Norwood trying to establish control here. Here comes Russo into the left circle, the shot, and it's wrapped up by Brand. Now Dylan Brand has been tested in net today and the freshman has done a tremendous job so far in this game. 23 to 14 shooting wise in favor of the Hillers. First line back out there for Hopkinton. This could be the uh, last opportunity in this final 3.42 to try to get the two points rather than the one. And of course defend uh, yourselves for at least getting the one point. Tommy Hamlet along the near side. Simon's trying to poke it out. Norwood has really put on uh, some good competition today for the Hillers. A glove save there by Reardon. Nice powerful shot off the stick of Jarrett. There's Jarrett again looking for a shot. And he thought twice about it, got it over to Simos instead. Around the net, here's Hamlet. Hamlet jammed up along the boards. 
Here comes Norwood. Three minutes remaining in the third period. Can one of these teams break the tie? There's a shot and it's turned away. Up the near side, Hamlet. And he was trying to find Walsh along the far side. And now racing up is Spinorcia. Jared gets the stick on it. And Gilbert in the right place at the right time there. Back to the Norwood zone. Tracked down by Hennessy. Coming up the near side, Marchant. Marchant takes it across to the right circle. The shot, and it's turned away. I believe Walsh got a piece of it. Seamus trying to poke it up the near side. Well, the face off in the Hiller's end. 2.04 left to go. And this game has had many momentum shifts. First period, it was all Hillers. Second period, for the most part, it was Norwood. Then the Hillers started establishing some good possession towards the end. This third period, it's just been back and forth. Great defense by both sides. Let's see what happens in the final minutes of what has been a tremendous game here today. Saparoshitz with the pass up the far side. Tracked down back ice by Matt Hennessy. Stolen away by Kirk. Leaves it out in front, Quinlan trying to poke it in, it's turned away. Sheamus flips it up, over towards Kirk. Back to Saparoshitz at the top of the left circle. There's a wrister and that's wrapped up by Brand, or Reardon rather. Brand would be the Hillers goal. Clock stopped at 1.29 as the Hillers get their first liners back out there. Sean Walsh up against Brandon Walsh. First line out there for both teams. Simon's trying to slice it forward. Here comes Norwood. Spadorcia takes that to the right of the net. Tracked down in the corner by Brandon Walsh. Sean Walsh will knock it around the boards. With possession, Hunter Ford. Gets that one off of Hamlet. And now Hamlet with possession. Here come the Hillers. Simos leaves it forward. He was hoping Walsh would get there. Luke Glyden with possession. Less than a minute left to go. There's a shot, and it's turned away. All the way All the way. Face off on the far side of the neutral zone. Simos will take it. 55.1 seconds left to go. We're going to get a timeout called by the Hillers. They want to talk things over and strategize for the final minute of regulation. You are watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. We're tied at three. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love HCAM. Hey, I love the green. Uh, camp. We love, love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center for the final minute of regulation. The final 55.1 seconds to be exact. The Hillers and Norwood are tied at three apiece. And if you decided to come to the game today, you're certainly getting your money's worth. This has been a very well played game by both sides and a whole lot of fun to watch. Along the near side, Jarrett flips it up towards Reardon. And now it's back to the Hillers zone. Turned away by Gilbert. 40 seconds remaining. Hamlet pulls it down, leaves it out in front for Walsh. Jarrett knocks it forward. Tracked down by Aiden Reardon. Gilbert trying to poke it towards Walsh, and now here comes Norwood on a break, the wrister, and that's turned away by Brand, a puck still out in front. And now on the side of the net. Nice save by Brand, 
Off the opportunity by Russo now. Here comes the Hillers on perhaps their last opportunity of this game. 10 seconds remaining. Walsh jammed up along the boards. And so is the puck. And that is how the game will end. A three to three tie between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norwood Mustangs. What a game these two teams played here today. The Hillers still have not lost since that December 20th, or that game against um, Algonquin on December 29th. As they grab another tie here today and they get the point. Norwood gets a well needed point as well. The Hillers now have six wins, two losses, two ties on the season, 14 points. Norwood with two wins, three losses, and two ties on the season for six points. Well, it was a very well played game, a whole lot of fun to watch, and these two teams are certainly uh, going to be teams to watch in the TVL. The final score for the final time, the Hillers and Norwood end in a 3-3 draw. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.